It's time for Culpeper Devil Ed Basketball. Good evening, everybody. This is Donnie Johnston, and tonight we're bringing you the game between the Brentsville Tigers and the Culpeper Devil Eds. Two evenly matched teams. Brentsville comes in with a record of 18 wins and five losses. Culpeper is 19 and five. And we have with us uh, Culpeper coach Dell Hutcherson. Uh, Dell, uh, some people know you as Corey, but we're, we're going to call you Dell tonight. Good luck on tonight's ball game, and uh, are you ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Uh, they're prepared. Um, they seem amped up, had a really good practice yesterday. Great energy, and kids is ready to play. Well, you've got some good ball players on your team, and you've done a, a great job this season getting them to this point in the regional. One more win, and you'll play in the region finals, and that will give you, I think, a ticket to the uh, state tournament, too. So. Uh, you know, what has it been about this team that uh, just makes them so good? Uh, defense, rebounds. Uh, once they made a decision to play good defense and rebound the basketball uh, was when that team started to turn around. And we got probably two of the best rebounders in the district. And when they get the ball, most of the time when Fairfax gets it, she can beat you across half court before the defense even gets to the free throw line. So uh, defense and rebounds has been a, a big part of our game. And Fairfax had, I think, 37 points the other night in your uh, first round win. And Amaya Robinson, we can't leave her out. Uh, that kid from the outside, she could really pump him in when she gets hot. Amaya is a true definition of a score, and she's only a freshman. So what we call a true freshman, like she's shown up big in, in most of the games that we played this year, along with learning, because we forget that she's so young. But she knows how to put that ball in the hoop. She does a great job, and with her shooting on the outside and Autumn Fairfax on the inside, and when you got Bailey Reagan down there too, she's, she's tall and she can help you out on the boards too. Melly has been great on the boards. Melly has really anchored that defense. When we've gone to a man-to-man, -man, it's something that we found out early on in the season is that Melly was able to stay with the best ball handlers. And then you put Sue on the other side of her, getting the second option, and they have really been – uh, uh, a really aggressive defending the basketball uh, all year long. It's great tandem. Dell, thanks for coming over and talking to us. Wish you the best of luck tonight, and let's go home with a victory. No doubt about that. One more thing, too. They are the Lady Blue Devils. The Devilettes are now the JV team. I remember the Culver Devilettes. Yeah, so now when we did that the happen? Place. Because they were just going by the Blue Devils for so many years. They scrapped Devilette while Majors was here. And they were just calling them the, the uh, Blue Devils. So when I came in this year, I wanted them to have their own thing. So we called them the Lady Blue Devils. And our JV girls are our Devilettes, future Lady Blue Devils, in, in the making. Go get them, Tiger. Thank you. All right. Uh, like I said, uh, Dell Hutchison, uh, he's got his team ready for tonight's ball game. Eastern View comes, or rather, Culpeper comes in 19 and 5. And Brentsville comes in with a record of 18 and five. Couple of players to look for on the Brentsville Tiger team. Number 12, Alden Yergi, who averages about 18.4 points a ball game. Number 30, Liz Rice gets the uh, under the board. She's gonna be battling in there with Fairfax and Reagan, and she gets about seven rebounds per ball game. So in the region semifinals, Culpepper, and Brentsville, and we'll be back with the starting lineups in tonight's ball game in just a moment. You're watching Lady Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sun. More than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book Fair Trade value, along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Questioning your career path? Explore the opportunity of CNC Miller, a field that touches all corners of everyday life. Get your career on a new pathway. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and remember those stories that helped shape Culpepper. 
Rediscover local sports documentary at localsportshistory.com. The playing of our national anthem. We're about set for the uh, introduction of the lineup for tonight's ball game. We'll check them as they come out for you. First of all, the Westfield Tigers. Number four is Peyton Brown. Number 12 is Alden Gergi. Number 13 is Kara Balmer. Number 20 is Brooklyn Miller, and number 30 is Liz Rice. And now for the homestanding Lady Devils, coached by Dell Hutchinson. Larry Burke, Taylor Baltimore, and Ada Stanley with Evan on the boat. And now for your starters for Culpepper, Good crowd here tonight. Considering we got a ball game on the other side of town. Susie Ismael, the first one out. Bailey Reagan, Autumn Fairfax, Amaya Robinson, the freshman, who can light them up from outside, and Kelly Hutcherson, the coach's daughter, and we are just about set for basketball action. As we said, the uh, other side of town tonight, we have the Eastern View Cyclones are hosting Dinwiddie, and the Eastern View boys are down at Verona. So all kinds of basketball going on, and we could have three teams in the state playoffs if all things fall into place. But we shall see. Things got so quiet here, I was about ready to pass the plate. But now we get some, get some noise. Culpepper and Brentsville. It'll be Autumn Fairfax jumping for the uh, opening tap for Culpepper. And Liz Rice, or excuse me, uh, number 20. And Brentsville gets the opening tap. Culpepper in his own. Tigers trying to work the ball in. Culpepper is two big girls down low, and that's going to be a hard job. Rice from the outside, working it into the middle. Underneath, locked in there by Autumn Fairfax, but she couldn't control the ball. Rice will throw it in for the Tigers. Balmer outside. Yergi trying to get it in low. They're going to have a tough time doing that tonight. Rice has it blocked. And coming up with a loose ball is Amaya Robinson. She holds things up. Reagan goes through and is fouled. Foul is going to be charged on Brooke Miller. First foul of the night on either team. No score in case you just joined us. Minute gone. Susie Ishmael way outside to Hutcherson. Ishmael takes a 10-footer. Can't get it to go. Fairfax, no. Brents fell. Ahead, two points. Cora Vollmer, first points of the ball game. Robinson, off balance shot, no good. Rebound, Brentsville. All the way and in, in for an easy layup is Alden Yergi, averaging about 18 points a ball game. Four nothing. Brentsville on top. Fairfax outside now running the offense from the top of the key. Hutcherson will take a three. Got it! Kelly Hutcherson 
Culpepper's first three points of the night, 4-3 Lady Devils. And there goes Jurgy, no good. Lady Devils the other way. Robinson pulls it out, gets a pick. Can't do anything with it. Hutcherson comes out, and a foul is called. Savannah Price will check into the ball game. And going out is Brooke Miller for Brentsville. Inbounds play comes to Robinson. Has it partially blocked, got it back. Now Mailey Reagan. Trying to work that ball in, but Brentsville is clogging the middle, not letting them get it in to the big girls. And Rice an easy two. 6-3, Brentsville. 5.18 to go, first period of action, region semifinals. Reverse layup is no good by Fairfax. And we got a whistle, and a foul is gonna be called on somebody down low, tripping foul. And I think it's gonna be on Ishmael. Yergi, top of the key, left side. Long three-pointer is in by Peyton Brown, the freshman. 9-3. Into Reagan, knocked away. Brentsville had it, lost it, and Culpepper comes up. Culpepper a little excited right now. They need to settle down. Fairfax is fouled and will shoot two. Autumn Fairfax will go to the line with her team trailing by a score of nine to three, 431 to go first period. First one up and off the front iron, no good. Four good teams in this region, Meriden, Meridian, excuse me, is playing uh, William and Rowe tonight, and both those are good ball clubs. So we got, it's going to be a very competitive regional tournament. Fairfax, one out of two. Yergi from the quarter. Three point attempt is no good. Kelly Hutcherson has it taken away from behind, but Pate Brown can't hold it, so it will go out of bound belonging to the Lady Devils. Ishmael finally gets it in. Amaya Robinson got a three. 9-7. Devils trail by two. Still in the zone. Bomber gets it into Yergi. Triple team. And a walk. Is called on Yergi. Turns the ball over to the Lady Devils. Who trail by two. Amaya Robinson, double team, gets it out. Fairfax, driving through traffic, got the basket, and draws the foul. No. Did they call an offensive foul on Fairfax? I think they did. I thought she got through the traffic. But apparently not. First foul on Autumn Fairfax. Rice, top of the key. Baseline, Yergi stops and hits a 12-footer. No. Right. Price has the ball knocked out of bounds. And Brentsville wants a timeout. Timeout on the... Or a, well, I guess we're not going to get a timeout. Brentsville girls signaled for a timeout, but it wasn't given. Price not knocked away by Fairfax. Caravalma gets it into Rice outside. Yergi. 
And a travel. Balmer slid that foot, as Dizzy Dean would say. Under three minutes to go, first period, 9-7. Brentsville leading. Bailey Reagan missed it. Hutcherson back up for two. Kelly Hutcherson ties it at nine. And Autumn Fairfax with an arm in there and knocks the ball out of bounds. And Dell Hutcherson wants a timeout. Timeout on the floor with a score. Culpepper nine and Brentsville nine. And while we've got a moment, we'll remind you about our live sponsor tonight. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they're able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer you up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book fair trade value, along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Found in Sons, more than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Yergi takes a long three-pointer, can't get it to go. Price is right there, lost it, hit the wire, and it will turn over to the Lady Devils. 9-9 nine -nine is our score. Maya Robinson gets a pick, tries to drive, off balance shot, no good, and a tie up. Arrow pointing in the direction of the Lady Devils, so Culpepper will retain possession. Bailey Reagan will throw it in. Into Hutcherson. Two more for Kelly Hutcherson. And another hand in there by Autumn Fairfax. And the ball will turn over. 11 to 9. The Lady Devils lead by two. Hutcherson. Fairfax almost lost it. Got it back. Robinson dribbling around, no place to go. Finally, Fairfax gets it. Wheel off the glass, too hard. Rice clears for Brentsville. Jurgi takes the three. Missed it. Balmer missed it, and we got a whistle and a foul underneath. Lady Devils with the basketball and a two-point lead. 135 to go, first period. Amaya Robinson, the freshman, turns and fires. Beautiful form, but she missed the shot. Rice the loose ball. Waits for help. Jurgi down the lane, dumps it off. Scramble, loose ball. Tapped away. Rice got it. Jurgi down the lane. Off balance shot is in. So we're tied again at 11 as we come down on one minute to play in the first period. Robinson. And that was an offensive foul on Amaya Robinson who tried to go through two players. Fifty seconds and counting. Brentsville with the basketball. Brentsville, of course, is at Noakesville. It used to be the old Noakesville High School. Yergi, got it. This kid can play. 13 to 11. Brentsville by two. 30 seconds. Fairfax. They are not letting her get to the basket which has left Kelly Hutcherson open for a couple of easy baskets. 15 seconds, Maya Robinson outside. 
Reagan. Driving. Put it up. No. Three seconds. Yergi from half court. Won't go. First quarter comes to an end with a score. Brentsville 13 and Culpepper 11. You're watching Lady Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air. Answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, more than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book Fair Trade value, along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Questioning your career path? Explore the opportunity of CNC Miller, a field that touches all corners of everyday life. Get your career on a new pathway. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and remember those stories that helped shape Culpepper. Rediscover local sports documentary at localsportshistory.com. Well, we came in expecting a close one, and that's what exactly what we've got, 13 to 11. Brentsville is leading the Culpeper Lady Devils in the semifinals of the regional tournament. And Brentsville will have the basketball as we begin play in the second period. Jurgi pulls it out. Kelly Hutchison on her. Down low, and a travel is called on Emily Spittle, who's now in the ball game, a senior. Devilettes need to score two to tie, a three to go ahead. And a foul is going to be called on Peyton Brown. Garden are too close, or too closely. Let me get my grammar right there. Amaya Robinson, got it. Nice little teardrop shot by the freshman. 13 all, we are tied. Jurgen kicks it into the corner. Peyton Brown, outside. Jurgi baseline will not take the shot. Fairfax is there. But Clara Vollmer will, and she hits a three. 15-13. Must have been a two. He only put two points up on the board. Fairfax, a little bit out of her range there. She missed it. Jurgi tries to make a move. Kelly Hutchison right there on top of her. And another travel is called on Peyton Brown. That's two times that she has shuffled her feet and turned the ball over to Culpepper. Maya Robinson, they're trying to get the ball down, but down low to Fairfax, but they cannot get it to us. So the best they can do is get it on the outside and Susie Ishmael gets a dish from Fairfax and puts it in, 15 all. Fairfax, Robinson. Turn, off balance shot is in, Amaya Robinson. Showing some form there. 17-15, two point lead. Peyton Brown, no. Underneath, easy basket and a foul. Ah. 
Emily Spittle will go to the line, try to complete a three-point play, and the foul is going to be called on Maley Reagan. Shot no good, rebound, Reagan. Robinson stops and fires and she is hot as a firecracker, 19-17. Lady Devils by two. Five oh five to go, first half. Regional semifinals. Rice on the outside. Trying to get it inside. Reagan is taking away the inside there from Brentsville. Loose ball. And Fairfax couldn't control the pass. They got that out a little too quickly. Wide open is Spittle. Oh, excuse me, Yan, uh, Yergi. Score tied at 19. Hutcherson for three. Way off the mark. Peyton Brown. And a foul is going to be called on Hutcherson. Or let's see, is it Hutcherson or is it going to be on... Whatever, Dell Hutchison is not happy, and Brentsville has the basketball. Spittle, outside, Brown. Long three-pointer is good. Alden Yergi, 22-19, Brentsville by three. Knocked away, and Hutchison lost it out of bounds. And we got a timeout on the floor. Del Hutchison not real happy right now with what's going on on the basketball court. And while we've got timeout, we'll remind you about localsportshistory.com. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and rediscover local sports at localsportshistory.com. Searching for a promising career? Train to be a certified always-in-demand machinist at New Pathways Technical Center, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. And UVA Community Credit Union, strengthening the financial health of our members and of the Culpeper community. uvacreditunion.org. Maya Robinson leading with nine points so far. Corey Hutcherson, or, or rather uh, Kelly Hutcherson, has seven. Scrambling for the loose ball. And with 3.24 to go in the first half, Autumn Fairfax, who scored 37 in the first round of this tournament, has only one free throw. Brentsville has really stifled her. Tigers, Yergi, this kid can play the game. Outside Brown, Yergi down the lane, stops and fires, can't get the roll. Maya Robinson, two on three break. She stops, puts up a three, no. Kelly Hutcherson couldn't quite come down with it. Time to jump just a little bit too soon. But the ball will belong to the Devilettes. But we've got a timeout. 
And while we take this time out, we will pause for 30 seconds on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Most of Culpepper's games this year have been runaways, uh, not counting the two with the Eastern View Cyclones, but this is going to be a tough one. 22 to 19, Brentsville leading Culpepper. And as we said, Autumn Fairfax, who averages about 23 points a game, has been held to one free throw so far in the first half. And that's got to be the... The lowest first half total she's had this year. And she has had one breakaway. Devilettes get a lot of their points on breakaways. Not this night. Fairfax to Hutcherson for three. That's short. Ishmael had it. Looked for help. Gets it out to Robinson. Brown is all over her. Gets away. Puts it up. No. Yergi collects the ball for Brentsville. Hutcherson on her. Tigers moving around that Culpeper zone. Yergi outside. Brown, fans wanted to walk there, but no call. And we're going to travel. It's about the fourth traveling violation that uh, Brentsville has had tonight. Giving Culpepper some extra chances. Coming down on two minutes to go, first half, 22-19. Lady Devils are trailing, and Fairfax got the basket on the baseline drive and will go to the free throw line. First field goal of the night for Autumn Fairfax comes with less than two minutes left in the first half of this game. Fairfax was one for two earlier. Got that one. Three-point play, and we're tied at 22. Brown for three. No. Maya Robinson right there to get the ball. Almost lost it. Comes out with it. Brown, one on three. All the way. Got it. She may have been a little better suited to Got to wait for some help, but she took it right in with three players on her, and she made it. So what can you say? Brown from the corner for three. She got it. 25-24, Bridgeville by one. Fairfax, cross court, Hutcherson down low, Reagan. Back to Fairfax, who takes a long three, and she got it. 27-25, Autumn Fairfax has started to light up the board. Three-pointer outside, no good. Amaya Robinson, three on two break underneath. Fairfax flat-footed shooting that shot. The other way, two points. Cara Valmer, and we are tied at 27. 20 seconds left, first half. Ten seconds. 
And that pass almost took Neely Reagan's head off. Six seconds to go. And Brentsville will have the ball for the last shot. No pressure. So they're just letting it roll up. Jurgi. Long shot outside. Balmer, no good. Rebound. Culpepper, but the quarter comes to an end. That's the half with a score tied. Culpepper 27, Brentsville 27. We'll see you the other side of halftime on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sun. More than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book fair trade value along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Questioning your career path? Explore the opportunity of CNC Miller, a field that touches all corners of everyday life. Get your career on a new pathway. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and remember those stories that helped shape Culpepper. Rediscover local sports documentary at localsportshistory.com. After 16 minutes of basketball, we are right back where we started, tied at 27. The Brentsville Tigers and the Lady Devils of Culpepper in this regional semifinal game. The winner will meet the Winner of the Meridian William Monroe game that is going on right now over at down in uh, Falls Church where Meridian is located. I never heard of the school either. First half, Amaya Robinson leads Culpepper with 11 points. Autumn Fairfax has seven, and she did not score a basket, a, a field goal until less than two minutes gone in the third quarter, uh, in the second quarter. And Corey Hutchison has seven for the Devils. Uh, for uh, Rentsville, Alden Yergi has nine points to lead the Tigers. And Fairfax almost threw it away, she did. Jump shot up, no good. Outside Brown had it and lost it, got it back. Gets it over to Yergi, Alden Yergi. Into the middle, Yergi into the corner, jump shot for three is no good by Brooke Miller. Amaya Robinson the other way. Fairfax. Underneath Ishmael. And a whistle. Susie Ishmael is going to be fouled. And they're, are they going to say the foul was on the floor or was she shooting? <clears throat> She's going to shoot two. Susie Ishmael. Score tied at 27. Ishmael gets the roll off the front iron. And Culpepper takes a one-point lead. <laughs> Second shot coming for Ishmael. It is up, and it is good. Luck is with her. She got them both. They weren't pretty, but they were effective. Down the lane. Fast break. Fairfax pulls it out, stops, and Robinson almost lost it. Fairfax, Reagan, no. Redsville comes down with a loose ball. Alden Yorgi into the corner. Peyton Brown back outside. Rice, back out to Balmer, working around that Culpepper zone. 
And an easy two points in there for Liz Rice. 29 all, we are tied again. Robinson for three, no. Yergi in the corner, down low. Spittle throws it out, and travel is going to be called on Yergi. That's on five turnovers on traveling violations for Brentsville tonight. Tiger coach Kaylee Delaney not happy with that. Robinson. And balls kicked out of bounds off the leg of Brinsville. Susie Ishmael will throw it in. Fairfax to Ishmael. Hutcherson can't get it to go. Hutcherson was right there, but could not get it. Steele. And a steal back. Yergi got the three. Luck of the Irish there. 32 to 29, three point lead for Brentsville. The winner moves on to the finals, the loser goes home. Trying to get it into Ishmael, but there were two Brentsville players there. And that pass had very little chance at all. All right, we got a timeout on the floor, and with timeout on the floor, we will pause for 30 seconds on the Culpepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. 32 to 29 is our score. The Brentsville Tigers are leading the Lady Devils of Culpeper as we have are in the third quarter of this Division Three regional semifinal game. Both these teams are used to winning by big margins, but tonight they're both of them are fighting for their playoff lives. Very evenly matched teams. Devils will throw it in. And they get it in to Fairfax, who is fouled. Autumn Fairfax will go to the line. Fairfax for a shot up and in. 32 to 30. Second shot coming. Missed that. Lady Devil still trail by two. Yergi outside setting up the offense. Carol Ballman now pulls it out. Baseline drive shot up by Yergi. No good. Rebound comes down to Spittle. Kicks it out. Ballmer missed the three. Hutchison ahead to Robinson to Fairfax for two. And we are tied at 32. And the other way, defense lags and Ballmer gets an easy bucket. 34-32, Brentsville. Lady Devil basketball. 
And a steal on the inbounds play. And we got a foul call on Kelly Hutcherson. Fans can't believe it. Good crowd here tonight. Like I said, we got uh, Eastern View girls are playing cross town in the semifinals. And it comes to Rice. And we got a timeout. Called on the floor by Brentsville. And while we've got timeout, we'll remind you about UVA Credit Union, strengthening the financial health of our members and of the Culpeper community, uvacreditunion.org. Searching for a promising career? Train to be a certified, always in demand machinist at New Pathways Technical Center, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. And localsportshistory.com. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and rediscover local sports at localsportshistory.com. Brentsville with the ball. Kara Valmer will toss it in. Way out in the corner, Gergi for three. She's open and she canned it. 37 to 32. Hutchison for three. No good. Fairfax off the glass. Can't get it to go. Brentsville with the basketball. Rice. Into the middle, Rice turns and fires and scores. Liz Rice, 39-32. Biggest lead of the night for either team. Seven points for Brentsville. Fairfax. Underneath Hutcherson, missed it. Brentsville with the ball. Yergi on the drive. Brown has it partially blocked. Spittle. And it's out of bounds off Liz Rice. And Rice is hobbling a little bit as she comes back down the floor. Amaya Robinson, double team. Underneath. Pass is knocked away. And Brentsville has the basketball. 2.28 to go, third period. 39-32. Trying to get that ball down low to Spittle. Can't do it. Fairfax and Spittle fighting in there. And Fairfax comes out with a pass. Driving. Missed it. Robinson. Got it. 39-34. Lady Devils cut the lead to five. Under two minutes to go, third period. Balmer missed it. And foul is going to be called on Liz Rice. Coming over the back of Autumn Fairfax. Thirty-nine thirty-four. Blue Devils or Lady Devils, Blue Lady Devils, Lady Blue Devils, whatever you want to call it. Trailing by five. Third period of action, regional semifinals. The winner will play either Meridian or William Monroe on Friday night. Three pointed by Fairfax, no good, and Maley Reagan comes over the back of Spittle and is called for a foul. Brentsville has done a super effective job of not letting Culpepper get the ball down low to Autumn Fairfax and Maley Reagan. They have essentially taken away the height advantage. Consequently, the Tigers lead 39-34. In the middle, Price puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Culpepper. Minute 10 to go, third period. Five-point lead for Brentsville. Robinson, teardrop, will not fall. Yeah. 
Yergi for two. Nice drive off the left side. 41-34, back to a seven-point lead. 45 seconds to go, third period. And a lot of Fairfax playing way away from the basket, which is her strength. And Bailey Reagan throws it into Ishmael and has it taken away. Yorgi will set back now. Let the clock tick down, 20 seconds. All the way in with the left hand, Alden Yergi. 10 seconds. Robinson almost lost it, two seconds. And the clock expires as the third quarter comes to an end with the score of the Brinsville Tigers, 43. The Culpeper Lady Devils, 34. You're watching Lady Devil Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air. 718-7556. Found in Sons. More than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons. 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive. Willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book Fair Trade value along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive. 547-3673. Questioning your career path? Explore the opportunity of CNC Miller, a field that touches all corners of everyday life. Get your career on a new pathway. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and remember those stories that helped shape Culpepper. Rediscover local sports documentary at localsportshistory.com. The Culpepper Lady Devils have dug themselves a hole and are trailing 43 to 34 as we begin playing the fourth quarter of tonight's regional semifinal game against the Brentsville Tigers. Brentsville with the basketball. Jurgen fell down, and smiling a little bit as she gets up. Trying to kill some time, you know, trying to let her go one-on-one -on -one with Susie Ishmael. From the corner, Brown missed it. Fairfax driving underneath. Ishmael missed it. Reagan for two. 43 to 36. Lead back to seven for Brentsville. Yergi missed it. Reagan to Hutcherson. Maya Robinson, the freshman, with the senior guarding her. Fairfax gets a pick, puts it up, no good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds, touched last by Kerr Valmer. Double basketball out front. And Fairfax for two, nice move on the inside, 43 to 38, down to a five point lead, six and a half minutes to go. Yergi makes the lead back up to seven. Robinson for three, air ball. Yergi has taken over 6, 10, 12, 12 points in this second half, combined with her nine in the first half. She has 21. And we've got a five second count. Turns the ball back over to the Devils. 
5.51 to go. And a pass intended for Ishmael is cut off. That was a freshman mistake. That was a small hole there to drill that pass through. Brown. Liz Rice travel. Little backcourt pressure now. Fairfax. Robinson. Brown on her. And we got a foul call on Brown. Peyton Brown will be charged with a foul. It's only the fourth team foul. against Brentsville in the second half. Robinson had a little opening there and she is tripped by Aldine Yergi and Robinson is down. Hopefully she's okay. Trainer comes over, checking her out. And I'm not sure whether she twisted an ankle or hurt her knee, but she's going to go out of the ball game for the time being. We have a timeout on the floor. And with this timeout, let's remind you about Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC systems. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Kelly Hutchison for three. Missed it. Seven point lead for Bridgeville. Under five minutes to go. Balmer. Down the lane. Comes back out with it. Killing time. Jurgi has an opening. Drops it off. Spittle for two. Forty-seven to thirty-eight. Reverse layup, no good there for Autumn Fairfax. The other way, Balmer, easy bucket. Forty-nine to thirty-eight, and Kelly Hutchison, or rather Corey Hutchison, Dell Hutchison wants a timeout. This ball game is getting away from his team, an eleven-point lead, and while we've got timeout, we will pause for 30 seconds of the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sun, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Del Hutchison wants to take time out and talk about this. The ball game is getting away from him. The winner moves on to the regional finals on Friday night. The loser goes home, and the Lady Devils are down by 11 with 419 to go, so they have got to... Score some points in a hurry while holding Brentsville scoreless, essentially. And that's going to be a job. Hutcherson looking for help. And Reagan could not hold on to it. Fairfax takes it to the hoop. No. Reagan up. Got it. 49 to 40. Lead is cut to nine. Under four minutes to go. Carol Valmer. Ball batted in the air by Fairfax, who took it away and lost it out of bounds. 
Autumn Fairfax doing her best. She got up high and got that ball, but just could not control it. As she fell to the floor, the ball went out of bounds. Alden Yergi stops. Brown, Rice. Down to three minutes and 28 seconds. And Yergi will bring it out. Taking time off that clock. And a foul is going to be called on Hutcherson. Forty-nine forty. Still no, not a shooting foul because uh, only the fourth foul on uh, Culpepper this half. Yergi down the lane. Nice move there by Alden Yergi. Fifty-one forty back to an eleven-point lead for Brentsville, and another steal. Rice back outside. And Brentsville will take some time off the clock and a foul by Susie Ishmael. They can't not get to the, that's only the fourth team foul. So they have three to give before they'll get to the one and one. And then we had a timeout on the floor. And with that timeout, we will remind you about Found and Sons. More than a respected funeral home, Founded Sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Founded Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book fair trade value along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and rediscover local sports at localsportshistory.com. And if you're searching for a promising career, train to be a certified always-in-demand machinist at newpathwaystech.com. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. 11-point lead for the Brantsville Tigers. And the Culpeper Lady Devils have got to do something in a hurry or their season is over. 2.47 to go in this ball game. Inbounds play comes to Aldine Yergi. Just working the ball outside now. Brown. Back outside. Killing time. And Kelly Hutchison has to foul. That's a fifth team foul, so Brentsville still has two to give before the one and one. Yergi. Down low, Spittle has it blocked. Fairfax on the drive, stops. Hutcherson, can't get it to go. Ishmael, two. 51 to 42. 2.04 to go. Cup effort trailing by nine. Time running out. Carol Vaughn on the floor. Everybody just kind of let her go underneath Spittle, wide open. That's about the third time they have found her over there by herself. 53 to 42, and that may be the nail in the coffin for the 
Lady Devils. Fairfax off the glass and in. 14 for Fairfax tonight. That's way under her average for the year, which is about 23. Twenty-three points on the other hand for Alden Yergi for Brentsville, and that's the difference in the ball game. A foul on Ishmael. <laughs> One minute and sixteen seconds to go in this ball game. Yergi with twenty-three points and now twenty-four. Ups the lead to 12 for Brinsville. Rice goes back to prevent against the uh, fast break. And Jurgen gets the second for 25 points on the night. Meyer Robinson driving, lost it. Jurgen. Takes it all the way and then kicks it out. And Brown. Brentsville now with a minute to go. Just killing time. And a timeout is called by the Brentsville Tigers. And with that timeout, we will pause for 30 seconds on the Culpepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Able Heating and Air. 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Unless there is a miracle... The Brentsville Tigers will move on to play the winner of the William Monroe and Meridian game that is being played at uh, Falls Church tonight. They lead 55 to 44 over the Culpeper Devils. And just dribbling around, killing time down to 40 seconds, loose ball. Brown comes up for Bridgeville, kicks it out of bounds off of Maya Robinson. 33 seconds left, an 11 point lead for Bridgeville. Yergi outside, Ishmael on her, just dribbling around. And a foul's going to be calling Ishmael. 25 seconds. I think we're past the miracle stage now. Alden Yergi at the line with 25 points tonight for Bridgeville and now 26. She has had a terrific night. Like the way this girl plays her game. Got them both. 27 for Yergi. Maya Robinson dribbling it out. 20 seconds, takes the three. Could not get the roll, and that's been the way it has been for the night for Culpepper. 10 seconds. Yergi underneath, and they will kick it out and not try to rub it in. Ball game. The Brentsville Tigers move on to the finals of the region tournament with a 57-44 victory over the Culpeper Lady Devils. And we'll be back with a final word on this game in just a moment. You're watching Lady Devil Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 
718-7556. Found in Sons, more than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Automotive, willing to take your trade and offer up to 125% of Kelly Blue Book Fair Trade value, along with a free trade appraisal. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Questioning your career path? Explore the opportunity of CNC Milling, a field that touches all corners of everyday life. Get your career on a new pathway. Hometown history is made with each passing season. Reconnect and remember those stories that helped shape Culpepper. Rediscover local sports documentary at localsportshistory.com. 57 to 44, the final score. The Brentsville Tigers defeat the Culpepper Lady Devils. Brentsville will move on in the regional tournament and play the winner of Meridian versus William Monroe, a game that is going on right now, or is maybe over, um, up in Falls Church. It was a tough night for the uh, Devils. They couldn't get Autumn Fairfax the basketball, and she had a very, very tough first half, not getting her first field goal until about uh, a minute and 55 seconds, I think it was before the uh, left of the first half. It was tough. They couldn't get the ball down low. They couldn't use their height to an advantage. And uh, the big thing for uh, Brentsville was a kid named Alden Yergi. And she ended up with 27 points tonight. And that was the difference in the ball game. This kid had a great night. For Culpepper, on the other hand, Autumn Fairfax was held to 14 points. Amaya Robinson, 13. Uh, Corey Hutchins, or rather, uh, I keep wanting to call her by her daddy's name. Kelly Hutchinson had seven. Susie Ishmael, six. And Maley Reagan only had four points on the night. Devilettes, uh, the Lady Devils go home now. The, the, uh, they finished the season with a respectable record of 19 wins and six losses. And Brentsville, 19 and 5, will move on. That about does it. We thank you for watching, and uh, we hope to see you soon with the, another ball game here on the Culpeper Media Network. Until then, Donnie Johnston reminding you that the final score once again the Brentsville Tigers, 57, and the Culpeper Lady Devils, 44. You've been watching Lady Devil Basketball of the Culpeper Media Network.